Hi everyone, Greeno here, and welcome to another video here on my Greeno Eats channel. Now today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I've come across what I think is a really cool app, and it's called Too Good To Go. It's been running for a little while, I've only just found out about it, and apparently it's available throughout the UK, a good chunk of mainland Europe, and parts of the States too. What this app tries to do is to minimise food waste, and the way it does that is businesses be they stores restaurants takeaways bakeries whatever they are will advertise on this app items that they'd be getting rid of at the end of the day you as a consumer can buy them at a much discounted rate sounds good yeah there is a caveat there's always a caveat <laughs> you don't know what you're going to get until you go to get it they put these packages together called magic bags and essentially you pay something between 25 to 35 percent of what the retail value of the products in these magic bags would be and it's a mystery you pick it up bring it home and see what you've got so as long as you're not too fussy it should be a win for everybody a win for you as the consumer you're getting a cheap deal on some food a win for the business because of course they're getting some cash back for food they'd otherwise be disposing of and of course with the mission statement being to minimise food waste, it's a win for the planet too. So today I've hooked up my first ever magic bag. I'm going to be going to Greg's Bakery here in the UK. Let's go and see what I've got. Right, so those of you who've seen content on my channel before might know that I live down in Dorset in a fairly rural kind of area so there aren't that many options available for me on the app i guess if you live in a bigger kind of population center you'll have all sorts of options uh, the nearest greg's to me is about a 20 minute drive away in dorchester so that's where i've come down to today uh, so not quite the saving that other people might be able to get if you can walk somewhere and pick something up all the better i've had to drive 20 minutes each direction <laughs> and with the price of fuel right now it's probably going to cost me a little bit more than uh, <laughs> than it might other people but i still think it's worth taking a look anyway i'm going to pop into the shop now and pick up the magic bag Right, I've just been into the store and I have picked up the magic bag. Here it is in all its glory. So, it doesn't feel that weighty if I'm honest. <laughs> but we'll see how it is. I'll get it home and unbag it. Right then folks, I'm back home. I just thought I'd give you a little bit more information about the app before we get into unbagging what's in this uh, quite nice smelling bag of food. So, like I say, there's not too many choices around where I live because I kind of live in the middle of nowhere. The maximum radius you can set on the app is 30 kilometers or about 20 miles from your location. Now for me, that just about covers Weymouth on the one side and pretty much to central Bournemouth on the other side. So there are some options there. And the kind of companies that you're gonna see advertising, certainly around here anyway, you've got Toby Carvery on there, you've got Harvester, uh, you've got Greg's, you've got Costa, Starbucks, uh, some of the supermarkets, for example, Spa and Morrison's sometimes have them. So there is a bit of a variety, even in this sort of area. Uh, a couple of small independent kind of places as well advertise on there too, which is good to see. But like I say, if you were to get this app in a fairly built up city or you know, just a town with a lot more going on than, than I have around here, I'm sure you will find all sorts of options. Anyway. Enough waffle, let's see what Greg's has given me today. Now, fingers crossed, we're going to get some good savoury items here. I have to say, I am much more of a fan of Greg's savoury products than I am their sweet products. So, <laughs> we will see what they have given me. Right, let's get into here first. What's the first thing we've got in here? Right, well, having said that, the first thing I've got, you can see here, is four donuts. <laughs> So these are 
sugar strand donuts apparently so they will just be normal ring donuts yeah no filling or anything in them just with a pink icing on and some hundreds and thousands on the top there let's get it up the right way for you so there we go so that's item number one but in fairness four of them is not bad i don't think i mentioned the actual price of this magic bag is two pounds and 59 pence obviously it varies from store to store uh, some of them are as little as a couple of quid, some of them are around five pounds. Um, I think with the Greg's one, it does say that you should get at least eight pounds worth of product. So I don't know how much those donuts are, but <clears throat> they've got to be three quid or something for four of them, I would guess, haven't they? Let's see what else we've got in here. And this is some triple chocolate cookies. So let's get this bag opened up and have a little look. So we've got two cookies in here. Nice chunky triple chop cookies there. So I mean, that's probably a, a quid or 150, I guess, in the store. Everything's been sweet so far. <laughs> what else have we got in here? Right. Uh, jam donuts. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> I don't think I could have picked a worse time to get this bag. Because my kids are on holiday, so <laughs> they would be destroying this. But in here we have, there you are, your standard jam donuts. Two of those. So that's six donuts overall and a couple of cookies. And we have something else in here. What do we have here? Apple Danish. <laughs> So, what, let's have a little look. So, oh, these are iced, iced apple danishes. So, I mean, they don't look too bad. I think out of, out of everything here, probably the one I'd like the most. I quite like apple flavored stuff, as long as I haven't spoiled it by putting cinnamon in like everyone seems to do. Um, and that is it. So not a single savoury item in there. No sausage roll, no steak bakes, no baguettes or anything. It's just sweet treats everywhere. But that's the risk you take, you know. It's a magic bag. It could be filled with absolutely anything. So as it turns out, I mean, for me personally, it's probably not the greatest result. But for £2.59, you can't really grumble, can you? And like I say, if the kids were at home, they would be absolutely delighted with this. <laughs> I mean, I'll make a bit of a dent in it. It has to be said, those apple danishes I'll certainly eat. And uh, yeah, the triple chopped cookies, maybe with a, a nice cuppa. I was hoping to have a nice baguette or something for my dinner this evening, but <laughs> sadly that's not gonna happen. But yeah, I think, uh, well, certainly, I'm recording this on a Thursday evening. I reckon there's some, enough shelf life on these to get through the weekend. So I'm sure I will make my way through most of it before, before it gets too bad. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's certainly been interesting. I don't think I've done too badly, really, out of it. Just, like I say, the items aren't necessarily to my personal taste. I would have preferred savoury items, not entirely sweet items. <laughs> it pays you money, you take your chance, don't you? That's the way it goes. But I definitely think I'll be doing this again, and I'll probably try it out with, uh, with some other of the, the vendors that are available on the app. Uh, Toby Carvery, like I say, is possibly one that might be interesting to see if you can get a uh, a carvery takeaway like this. Um, Harvester is on there, so maybe uh, something from there might be good to get. Although that's a little bit further away again, even. But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to give it a go, and I'll uh, I'll bring you the results of whatever I uh, whatever I do with the app. It should be kind of interesting, I reckon. Well, like I say, if you have enjoyed the video, it would be great if you could. Click that little thumbs up button and drop a like on it for me. All helps with the channel. And if you're not yet subscribed, then just click that little button and you can turn your bell for notifications so that you don't miss any of the content that is coming up on the channel. So that's it from me tonight. Time to make myself a cup of coffee and start eating some, some pastries, I think. But yeah, that's it. Greeno is over and out. Bye for now.